All right, everyone, are you ready for this? It's March 28, 2012, and I'm bringing you news that the mainstream media doesn't want you to know about. This is happening in my home state of Michigan. It's happening in Germany, as I'm going to show you in a moment. It's happening all around the globe, and you need to pay close attention. First in Michigan, insane Michigan government announces plan to destroy ranch livestock based on hair color and arrest hundreds of ranchers as felons. This has to do with big corporations like Monsanto. Hold on. I'll put the link to this below. It has some good information uh, at the bottom of this article. More links to click on. And I'm going to play you a video in a moment, a portion of a video. The state of Michigan is only days away from engaging in what can only be called true animal genocide. The mass murder of ranch animals based on the color of their hair. It's all part of a shocking new invasive species order, ISO, put in place by Michigan's Department of Natural Resources, the DNR. The invasive, invasive species order suddenly and shockingly defines virtually all open-range pigs raised by small family farms to be illegal, invasive species, and possession of just one of these animals is now a felony crime in Michigan, punishable by up to four years in prison. The state has said it will destroy these pigs beginning in April, potentially by raiding local farms with government-issued rifles, then shooting the pig herds while arresting the members of the family and charging them with the crime of raising pigs with the wrong hair color. This may truly be a state-sponsored serial animal killing spree. Reality check. You may think the story is some kind of early April Fool's prank, but it isn't. This is factually true and verifiable through the documents, videos, and websites linked below. And you'll have this article. The state of Michigan seriously intends to unleash, unleash rather, a mass murder spree of pigs of the wrong color beginning April 1st. Yet these are the very pigs that farmers and ranchers in Michigan have been raising for decades. The state doesn't seem to care about this, and there are indications that this ISO may have been nudged into a position by the conventional pork industry as a tactic to wipe out its competition of local specialty, specialty ranching uh, conducted by small families and dedicated farmers who don't work for the big pork corporations, the Michigan Pork Growers Association. Hear the shocking uh, interview and watch the family farm video. You have that link. Got the wrong hair, hair color? The state of Michigan will kill you. Michigan to destroy pigs based on the color of their hair. Racial profiling for animal murder. Talk about racial profiling with humans. Now if you have the uh, DNA, I'm going to show you in a moment. Monsanto is going to claim ownership of a certain DNA. And if you have pigs of a different color, not the right hair color, you're going to be arrested. Let me take you to this video real quick. And I ask you, watch it in its entirety. I'm just going to play a portion of this for you. So here come it's um, the gene of the suchen and the harvitzen. Uh, and Monsanto behauptet jetzt, when this gene here vorhanden is, then sind the tiere besonders büxig, besonders fleischstark. Es ist einfach so, Zu wem ich auch gehe, da glaubt man das nicht. Warum sollte irgendjemand hier kommen können und ein Recht auf etwas geltend machen, das eigentlich schon lange den Landwirten gehört oder der gesamten Gesellschaft gehört? Und deshalb denke ich, ist einfach wichtig, dass man sich jetzt auf die Barrikaden stellt und man einfach auch sein Recht an seinen eigenen Tieren hat. Das ist die Existenz von mir und eigentlich von ganz vielen Landwirten hier in der Region auch. A field in Schwäbisch Hall is Farmer Zimmer's next destination. He wants to inform Marcus Betzelberg and his father Ernst to breed pigs about the patent applications brewing in faraway America. Hmm. Hello, Ernst. Hello, Marcus. The scientists at Monsanto claim in their application that certain pig genes promise more rapid flesh growth. If the patent is granted, Monsanto could in future also demand license fees for the Betzelberger's animals if this gene is naturally found in them and the farmers cannot prove that they didn't use Monsanto's patented breeding methods. Hmm. Ja, das kann's 
im Prinzip nicht sein, dass unsere Tiere praktisch der Amerika dem amerikanischen Konzern gehören. Und ja, wir im Prinzip die Tiere noch füttern dürfen und halten dürfen, aber die darüber entscheiden dürfen, was mit den Tieren passiert. Monsanto, Company Headquarters in St. Louis, Missouri, heavily guarded like the maximum security wing of a prison. This is where the idea for a worldwide pig monopoly was born. In the lab, scientists are hard at work on an ongoing series of new patents. The goal is worldwide domination in the field of food production. An annual sales volume of more than 4 billion euros is realized here. Up until now, primarily by means of genetically engineered plants and seed. Genetically engineered plants and seeds, a monopoly of the food market. You see what's happening here? Do you see what's happening here? Do you see what's about to take place in April, next month, in Michigan? And, and you see the connection with Monsanto? Now, last week there was a story, and I didn't have time to bring it out, where uh, in New Hampshire, a woman was arrested for planting flowers in her front yard, and, and she was given a $6,000 fine with a $50 a day late fee for each day she didn't pay the $6,000. And I thought New Hampshire was a free state. Let's carry on just for a moment. Konzerne haben ganz wenige Menschen, ganz wenige Gruppen, die haben eine Macht heute, wie sie nie ein Kaiser, nie ein König, nie ein Papst in der Geschichte der Menschheit gehabt hat. Und Monsanto ist einer dieser Weltkonzerne, sehr effizient übrigens, unglaublich dynamisch, unglaublich vital. Das sind äh, Feudalherren neuesten Tipps. Monsanto began by manufacturing insecticides and later went on to genetically engineer the plants themselves for greater resistance. This allowed the plants to better tolerate Monsanto's own crop sprays. Of primary importance was that everything could be patented. Patenting is all about control and Monsanto is all about control. You know, they're already the number one seed company in the world and they control those seeds through patents, through government monopolies, so that they and only they can use those seeds. The common heritage of the world, the seeds of the world, are now owned primarily by one company that has them in monopoly. The American Patent Office, USPTO. This is where Monsanto has submitted its pig patents for approval. Pig the patents. patent authorities are not yet prepared to issue... It's quite a long video, so I'm going to put it in the description box for you, uh, along with the other article. It's just what we're seeing uh, right before our very eyes, uh, the people of the state of Michigan. Pig patent. Uh, if you are a farmer and you're raising pigs and, the, and they have the wrong DNA, the wrong hair color, in April in Michigan they're going on a killing spree. What's coming to the farm in your community? I just want to bring you this news. Mainstream media is not going to cover this, believe me. Leave me comments, everyone. Keep informed. God bless.